Jumbo fellow adventurers and happy Friday. Thoughts become things. Glad to be with you for another spiritual tune-up. Thanks for the great questions on past life experiences, karma, reincarnation. Today we're going to continue that thread. Many of you have asked uh, about my comments yesterday where I said we do not remember past lives as a rule, uh, but we do carry forward the wisdom from all of our lives. So nothing is lost, but we just don't have those circumstances, people, places, etc. At, at the forefront of our thinking. Um, that was meant to speak in general terms. We're totally capable, as many have evidenced, um, to recall either through meditation, hypnosis, or inexplicably past life experiences. There's some amazing YouTube videos out there, particularly of children who remember names and circumstances, issues uh, of recent past lives. Just absolutely, in my view, indisputable. And, and whether or not they're telling the truth, it's clearly deducibly logical not only that we have these other experiences, but that some folks can remember them. All right, so here's what else we bring forward. Talents, skills, curiosity levels, uh, leanings, interests. If you're fascinated by outer space or tarot card readings or mother nature or you name it, mathematics, uh, writing, creativity, music, and you've honed those skills in other lifetimes, you bring that wisdom and those skills with you into this lifetime. When it comes to speaking about incarnations and reincarnation and past life though, there's often times when people start creating issues where there are none. You are not at a disadvantage if you don't remember your past lives. And you are not at a disadvantage if you weren't Beethoven in a past life, but you love music in this life. Don't be thinking that you are somehow at a disadvantage. This is dreams come true. This is thoughts become things. This is why you're here. There's nothing anybody can do in this lifetime that you can't do. And it doesn't matter how many past lifetimes they've been doing it. So do not create barriers or limitations for possibilities nor your dreams coming true by wondering whether or not you got a leg up in a prior lifetime. The other area where people will impute negativity here is like, well, if I bring over the good stuff, if I bring over my loves and my interests, then I must be bringing over the bad stuff as well. There is no bad stuff in these sacred jungles of time and space. Come on. If you were confused in a past lifetime, if you were ungrateful in a past lifetime, if you were non-cooperative in a past lifetime, if you didn't see the beauty that's everywhere in a past lifetime, yes, you're going to bring that over so that in this lifetime you can use that golden ticket, that invitation to be raised higher than you have ever been in any other incarnations. That's not a bad thing. So yes, we might bring over confusions. If we haven't learned a lesson yet in prior lifetimes, excuse me, then it is on our plate to learn it this lifetime. But that's not a bad thing. We all want to learn these lessons. We're not forced to learn anything. We're like, let me go there now and let me be Mike Dooley, tall, bald, and handsome so that I can finally learn X, Y, Z. And that's the part and purpose in part of that lifetime, the gift of that lifetime. So, so don't be thinking about, oh, I'm bringing over this baggage from prior lifetimes, okay? Excuse me. Along these same lines, uh, almost parallel, is the notion of karma, which I have spoken to in several of these spiritual tune-ups, but it bears repeating. Karma is not an absolute law. Karma is a phenomenon. And sure enough, what goes around comes around. Sure enough, we see this happen in our own lives. Sure enough, instant karma in some cases. So karma is a very real phenomenon, but it is not an absolute law. You could call it the law of karma. Look, words slip and fail when applied to truth. Um, it is a law. You know, the, the ultimate karmic law is thoughts become things. What you think about, you bring about. 
You change your thoughts, you change what you bring about, and it doesn't matter what the score was. Too often people believe that karma is like a scoring mechanism. If you were naughty three times to other people, then three times in the future, somebody and other people need to be naughty to you. If you violated, you must be violated back. If you, you know, not true, not true, not true, okay? The, the, the only literal thing that can be taken out of karma is thoughts become things. If you think it, you will feel it unless you change your thinking before it showed up. And if you change it in time and given your inclination to thrive and be positive and joyful, uh, you've got a lot of wiggle room here. You could be thinking negative thoughts for a long time, thinking thoughts of unpleasant things that could or might possibly happen to you. But in the moment you're on a new level and you understand that you're a being of light, that you're here to thrive, that you're pushed onto greatness, that your positive thoughts are more powerful than your negative thoughts, and you embody that in word and deed. Oh, all that stuff that was building up, yicky, icky, poo, and that was about to manifest in your life, it just goes to the wayside. So understand that you are not limited by the fact that in your last lifetime, you were a wicked, evil pirate on the high seas. <laughs> got, got nothing on you. This lifetime, it's you and your thoughts. And while they're may be some vestiges of thoughts of the value of stealing and plundering that you brought over in confusion from a past lifetime. As long as you clarify that thinking in this lifetime and you understand that in no way will you ever make progress um, at the expense of other people and you start living accordingly with gladness and love in your heart, then all of your old karma is immediately washed away. Okay? So, it requires new thinking. And new thinking is only a few thoughts away, not a scorecard away, not lifetimes away, not dues, penance, and penalties away. You're free. You're powerful. Nothing is holding you back. Certainly not the past. Certainly not past lifetimes. And in the same spirit, uh, ancient spiritual contracts. Yeah, they're as real as the law of karma, but they're not absolute. There are agreements you know, hey, we got along great in the 16th century. Let's let's live in the 21st century, and I'll be uh, I'll be your best friend, and I'll be whatever, whatever. And you agree, and you play roles. But when you get here, if at any point it's not working for you, or you just change your mind for no reason at all, the contract is null and void, and it's your right and entitlement. You get to decide what happens to you. You don't owe anybody anything from past lives nor this life. You owe yourself joy, happiness, appreciation, respect, okay? And that doesn't mean you choose, you make your choices at the expense of other people. Of course, with love in your heart, you can go in any direction you want and you can say goodbye to anybody you want. With love in your heart, with kindness and respect, honoring to all practical means, um, obligations you have already made, okay? All right, I, that probably uh, creates some tangents. If so, and you've got questions, post them below today on Facebook and or Instagram. It is my joy, privilege, uh, and happiness to be able to spend this time with you every Monday through Friday, 9.15 Eastern Standard Time. Taleho amigos, have the best Friday of your life, best weekend of your life so far. And click the link below to join me and David G. September 1st for a 21-day immersion into a variety of meditation techniques. You know, if meditation has come slowly for you or you're distracted, did you know that there are an infinite number of ways to get into that zone? We're going to give you a sampling, David G. Will, of all kinds of possible ways for you to find your zone. And when you find your zone, you don't want to get out of there. You look forward to it every single day. For a price you choose, $27 is the low point. You can join David G and I for 21 videos, four 90-minute workshops, Q&A, and a really good time with an awesome community in the thousands. All right. Hasta la pronto. Ten un gran fin de semana. Hermanos y hermanas. Adiós.